Good evening. Here we go with the 1910 Major League Baseball season. And we're going to start with the standings. In the American League, Philadelphia Athletics, 102 wins, 48 losses. New York Islanders, 88 and 63, 14 and a half back. Detroit, 86 and 68, 18 back. Boston, 81 and 72, 22 and a half back. Cleveland, 71 and 81, 32 back. Chicago White Sox, 68 and 85, 35 and a half back. Washington, 66 and 85, 36 and a half back. And the poor old St. Louis Browns, 47 wins, 107 losses, 57 games back. National League, Chicago Cubs, 104 wins, 50 losses. Wins in National League, they're going to be playing the Philadelphia Athletics in the World Series. New York Giants, 91 and 63, 13 back. Pittsburgh, 86 and 67, 17 and a half back. Philadelphia, 78 and 75, 25 and a half back. Cincinnati, 75 and 79, 29 back. Brooklyn, 64 and 90, 40 back. St. Louis, Browns, 63 and 90, 40 and a half back. And the Boston does 53 and 100, 50 and a half back. On April 14th, President William Howard Taft became the first president to throw the ceremonial first pitch on opening day. And Washington won 3 to nothing. And apparently that was an admiration, as we just found out what happened. Walter Johnson had a Two hitter that uh, had a one hitter, one hitter in that game. Eddie Joss of Cleveland throws a no hitter. Cleveland wins one to nothing. Joss was the last pitcher to throw a no hitter, which was also one nothing over Chicago. Chief Bender on May twelfth throws a no hitter, and he be and he came within a walk of a perfect game. Philadelphia beat Cleveland four to nothing. July 19th, Cy Young of Cleveland wins his 500th game. Cleveland beat Washington 5-4. Season stats. Batting average. Matt Blagiway topped it. Uh, Matt Blagiway of Cleveland topped it with a 384 average. Jake Stahl of Boston hit 10 home runs. Tops in the American League. Sam Crawford hit, of Detroit hit 120 runs, batted in. National League, Sherry McGee of Philadelphia, 331 average. And there's a tie for most home runs in the National League, which tied Jake Stahl. Fred Beck of Boston and Frank Schultz, Frank Schultz of Chicago each hit 10 home runs to match Jake Stahl. Sherry McGee of Philadelphia also had 129 RBIs. Pitching. Jack Coombs of the Philadelphia Athletics, 31 wins. Ed Walsh of Chicago, 127 ERA. Walter Johnson of Washington, 313 strikeouts. National League. Christy Mathewson led the National League with 27 wins. King Cole of Chicago had a 1.80 ERA, and Earl Modry of Philadelphia had 185 strikeouts. Jesus, that's almost half of what Walter Johnson had. World Series. Yeah, Philadelphia's home games were at Scheib Park, and Chicago's home games were at West Side Park. Game 1, October 17th in Philadelphia. The Phillies win 4-1. Game 2, October 18th. Phillies win 9-3. Game 3 on October 20th. Phillies win 12 to No. Athletics win 12-5, sorry. That's the Philadelphia Athletics, not the Phillies. Athletics beat the Cubs 12-5 in Game 3. Game 4, October 22. Game 3 is in Chicago, as was Game 4. And the Cubs beat the Phillies Athletics 4-3 in 10 innings. 
In Game 5 on October 23rd in Chicago, the Athletics beat the Cubs 7-2 to to win the World Series 4 games to 1. Jack Coombs of Philadelphia won 3 of the 4 games. How impressive is that? So there is the 1910 season. Tomorrow, 1911. So stay tuned for that.